Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a home run in pizza. This is the Meat Lovers. It has sausage, uncured pepperoni, and uncured bacon. It was $6.99 at Meyer. And you know, now that I think about it, it's funny that uh, no matter what toppings you get on it, it costs the same. And yeah. I mean, that's with, with all meat, the... meat, cheese, whatever. Yeah, that's with all the pizzas. Uh, it's the really pizza more companies. press style. It's determines price. Yeah, really, because uh, it's like, well, why wouldn't you, you know, why wouldn't you get one with all the meat if it's going to cost you the same as just a cheese? Um, so, go for it. Uh, but this one, uh, you want to uh, preheat your oven to 450 degrees, and you're going to put this in the middle of the oven. It says, our pizza is partially baked, and the cheese is melted, covering the sauce. So, this one, you, you, there's no, um, cardboard or anything like that so you're going to take it out of the paper put it in the oven uh you bake it for 15 to 20 minutes i'm going to bake ours for 20 minutes and then we'll be back this is how it looks after 20 minutes if you don't want yours as dark as ours uh, then just leave it in it's it's anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes so or if you want it even darker then you could leave it longer uh, but it smells really good you really smell that bacon Yes, uh, we have Smoky. not, uh, we've never had a home run in pizza with bacon on it, so this will be the first. So, yeah, I'm excited to try it. So, what I was saying earlier about the sizes and, and the price is that, uh, or the, the toppings is that, you know, no matter what the topping, it's the same price. Well, this one, it's a two pound pizza. So, the other well, ones, a pound or yeah, the other ones have all been a pound something that we've reviewed. This is actually a full 32 ounce, two pound pizza. So, it's like, why not get the big, the big one for the same price, you know, mm -hmm. if you can. Uh, so, I'm sure if you've watched all the reviews, you're tired of hearing me uh, read this off the back of the box, but I'm going to one more time. This is our, our last one to review. It says, Family with a Dream. Our family came from Italy in the 1920s with a dream to connect people over pizza. In 1947, when they served square cut snack sized pizza at our Southside Chicago Tavern across from local baseball fields, the neighborhood was thrilled. It was love at first bite. The family dream came true and the world of pizza was never the same. Years later, our same family recipe from 1947 is making its way throughout the country and we couldn't be more proud. Staying true to our roots, we hope you open up a cold drink and enjoy your pie while watching the ball game with your family. Made from scratch, simple ingredients, our family motto is simple. If we can't pronounce it, we won't use it. We take this one step further by making each of our pizzas from scratch daily, starting with our buttery flaky crust and finishing with premium all-natural toppings. Simple ingredients that come from the farmers we trust. This is made in Woodridge, Illinois. One sixth of the pizza is 440 calories. So each of these pieces that you see is 440 calories. So, and it Assuming looks- you cut them evenly. <laughs> looks a little greasy. Fine with me. I don't have a problem it's with that. It's not it. like drippy greasy though. Like it's not like you need to get a paper towel to wipe it It feels out. hot. It still feels, so don't burn your mouth. I usually have to one burn my mouth. Cause it, it, <laughs> uh, it really, it still feels really hot just to like even try okay. to try to pick it up. Well, mine must be hotter than yours. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that could be. It's hot, but it's not too hot about it. You know, we didn't see any in our area at least that had like, like really had like vegetables on it, mm. like onions and peppers and stuff. They like have that. one. Yeah, but it had something else, didn't it? Um, I don't remember. Or was it all veggie? It was, well, I don't remember. I don't know. But but there was I'm, one, but I didn't want to get it because normally those are wet. Yeah, and that's true. They are normally wet. Um, that's why I didn't get it. I really like the flavor of this. Um, I would love to get some one of these with like some onions and peppers and stuff on it too though. Mm -hmm. We'll have to try one now that we know how good these are. It had, they had one. Yeah, we'll just have to, we'll have to try it now that we know. Mmm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Bacon's good. That bacon is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know they, they must just make a bacon one. Maybe, I don't know. Well, Maybe. they just have sausage, they mm -hmm. just have pepperoni. They just have sausage and, and pepperoni, or um, uh, yeah, sausage and pepperoni. So you would think they would just have bacon. That bacon um, a lot of flavor, it? has a lot of flavor, yes. This is the first one where the toppings overpower the cheese. 
Mm -hmm. Because all the other ones we've had, the cheese has been really, really strong. I mean, like you really taste the cheese. You still get the cheese, but the toppings, you get so much of the flavor of the bacon, the sausage, and the mm -hmm. pepperoni in this one, mm -hmm. that the cheese is, for once, a lower flavor. I agree. It's I agree. still there, but, but it's not as strong as it was. No, I days. agree. Um, if you want a really good cheese pizza, they, they, their cheese is terrific mm -hmm. because it is strong and it's yep. thick. It's you can actually a, taste the cheese. Yes, it's very, very thick and it's over the top of the whole thing. So it's not like just pats of cheese. Mm -hmm. It's literally the whole top is cheese. And um, That's good. you're absolutely right. You really taste, this is meat lovers. And so you're tasting the meat. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the, the bacon, I hoped that it would be really strong and flavorful. But I didn't know what to, ex you know, if it was really going to be strong, and it is. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I got a big hunk of sausages now. Uh, yes. You can really taste the sausage. The only one that's slightly a minor flavor is the pepperoni. Yes. But um, but you do, I think it adds to the flavor. It just doesn't stand out on its own. But the sausage and bacon, you really do taste. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like this. I love that sausage. Yeah, this is really my one. favorite one. It is mine, too. Um, mm hmm the sauce on these, all of them for that matter, the sauce is not the star of the show either. The sauce is good and it adds a, a good tomato when oh, you get the spices yes, and like that seasoning. That. But it's not, you know, some of them, the sauces are really sweet mm -hmm. uh, and they kind of take away from the, everything else. This one's not like that. Um, and um, the um, the crust has always good. been good delicious. Yeah, it's always been really nice. Um, yeah, we've tried. Um, I, I know we have a review from way back where we did the sausage and pepperoni on the channel. And uh, I'm just, I don't remember that one because it's been too long ago. But just the four that we've recently tried, just the past few days that you will have seen, this is definitely like num number one. Yeah, this is really, really good. Yeah, absolutely right. delicious. I would buy this one again. Absolutely. So. You'll have to let us know which is your favorite. Also, please let us know if they just have a bacon, hmm. uh, because I would totally eat like a cheese and bacon. I would, I would buy that. I would like to see a supreme. I'm, I, we'll have to look. We'll yeah. look because somebody had. Um, well, this was at Meyer. It, it must have been at Meyer. They had one with onion and peppers on it, we'll but I don't know what else. So yeah, yeah well, I'm thinking for some reason it had pepperoni on it too. Yeah. But I don't know. But we'll we'll search for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.